Miss Donna from the Nina Public Library in Yoga and Yodels, and I hope that you've been enjoying Earth Month as much as we have at the library. Our interactive story kit that we, I hope we have some left for you this week. It's owl babies, and you can pretend to be a baby owl or you can pretend to be a mama owl. If you do have a chance to stop in briefly at the library in the youth department, we have a story walk for the owl babies story. Um, that's just a little bit of the fun that we have going on for Earth Day. We have a survey and we have um, a virtual bookshelf that is linked to our catalog so that if you see an Earth Day book that you'd like to check out, you can see if it's on the shelf or see if you can put a hold on it. So I hope you enjoy that too. Our song for today is the garden song and I've used this song every spring with my children when we were planting garden and we would make the hole for the seeds and then put the seeds in and then gently cover the seeds up with the dirt and we would sing this song. So it's just a, a very fun thing for me to share with you. So here we go. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, someone warm them from below. Someone bless, I think we're gonna have to start that over. That's okay though, that's okay. This is a complex song. We're just going to start over and I'm going to cut this out. So this is another spring song by Raffi and it's called the Garden Song. It may be a traditional song, but Raffi made it pretty famous. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling down. Plant your rows straight and long, temper them with prayer and song. Mother Earth will keep them strong if you give her love and care. An old crow watching hungrily from his perch in yonder tree. In my garden I'm as free as the feathered thief out there. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling down. Pulling weeds and picking stones, we are made of dreams and bones. I feel the need to grow my own, cause the time is close at hand. Grain for grain, sun and rain, I'll find my way in nature's chain. Tune my body and my brain to the music from the land. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling down. It's a fun, fun folk song. Our book for today is Up, Down, and Around. 
It's one of my favorite gardening books, and it's written by Katherine Ayers and illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott. Look at all the cool bugs. This is going to be a great book for looking closely at the illustrations. Look who published it. One of our favorite publishers, Candlewick Press. Thank you, Candlewick Press. Oh, and this is another one that we can sing. In the dirt we'll dig a row, drop some seeds and watch them grow. They have to watch out that the crows don't eat the seeds, don't they? Dirt piles up, seeds go down, water splashes round and round. Corn grows up, carrots grow down. The worms are down there in there too. Cucumbers climb around and around. Peppers grow up, potatoes grow down into the ground. Pumpkins vine around and round. Broccoli grows up, beets grow down. We have to share the garden with the bugs. You can see the bugs on almost every page, can't you? Green beans wind around and round. Okra grows up and onions grow down. Tomatoes twine around and round. Fresh and tasty, get a bunch. Pick some, pull some. <laughs> they look like they're having so much fun. Let's have lunch. And they all lived happily ever after the end. Look what they're having for their lunch. They're having vegetable soup and salad and corn on the cob. Oh my goodness, pumpkin pie out of their pumpkins. And look, the animals all have food too. What a great story. Our yoga flow for the third and fourth weeks of April is a garden yoga flow. And I know it isn't quite time to be planting our gardens unless we're really maybe covering things up with a milk jug or um, if we're having a really warm spring, which I'm not sure about yet. Uh, many times they say not to plant outside until after Mother's Day, so we've got a little while until that. But we can be doing our garden yoga flow anyway, early. So let's begin with some breathing. And we've been using extended mountain pose for almost all our flows. This time we're going to be thinking about saying hello to the sun when we bring our arms up. So let's inhale our arms up and bring our palms together at the top. I know you probably can't see this, but you'll be able to see the child who's off to the side and then what she's symbolizing or he is symbolizing and fuzzed out in the background. So we're being a sun as we Have extended mountain pose and we breathe. Say hello to the sun. Hello, sun. And exhale your arms down. <laughs> Our next pose is warrior three and that's a great bird pose. And don't we have a fun time watching the birds in the spring? They are, if there are puddles, if there's mud. They're always pecking for worms. That's fun to watch and it's fun to watch while they take little bits of fuzz and grass and things to make their nests. That's fun. And sometimes we even find a little tiny bit of robin eggshell on the ground. That's lots of fun. So our warrior three is a great balancing pose and we're going to pretend to be a bird. So you stand on one leg, and this is a great time to hold on to the wall or your grown up or a chair, um, or just feel strong in your own body and feel like, okay, so maybe I'll tip over and maybe today I'll be strong and I won't tip over. Either way, it's all great. You're standing on one leg, you bring your other leg behind you and you flex your foot, you bend your body forward, 
Let's keep our chests up and take your arms out to the side this time for our warrior three, and then let's flap our wings like birds. Continue to breathe. Don't hold your breath on this pose while you're trying to balance so vigorously. And then eventually when you've had enough on one leg, then just pause the video and do it on the other side. Here's a fun pose. This is triangle with a forward bend, and we're going to pretend to be a deer. So what you'll do is start out standing tall with your legs hip width apart, you're facing forward, and you straighten your arms alongside your body. So you take your right foot back and keep your ankle bent just a little bit at a 30 degree angle. Maybe your grown up can help you with that. Then you'll place your hands on your hips you're checking that your back is flat and that you are looking straight ahead and you slowly bend and stretch as your hips are on as if your hips are on a hinge you keep a flat back and a long neck that's like a deer right you bring your hands to your shins your ankles or the ground depending upon what feels comfortable for you and you keep checking your spine to make sure it's straight. You're going to pretend to be a deer who's munching grasses. And remember to take time to do this on the other side too. It's a challenging balance and strengthening pose, isn't it? Next is one of our favorite yoga poses. We love to do tree pose and it is a great garden pose. So when we do tree, we stand on one leg, another great balancing pose. We bend the knee of the leg you're not standing on and you put the sole of your foot, either your toes are on the ground like a kickstand or bring the sole up to your shin or above your knee or even up to the inside of your thigh if you're very stretchy. If you'd like to, you know how windy it is in the spring. We love to fly kites in the spring. So would your tree like to sway in the breeze today? That challenges your balance, doesn't it? Makes it even more difficult but it feels cool too, right? So you inhaled your arms up to make branches of a tree and maybe you sway in the breeze. And take time to do that on the other side. Our next pose is our rain pose. So that's standing forward bend. And we have so much fun in bookworm yoga when we rain down because we always use the sound effects, right? So you're standing tall, your legs are hip width apart, your feet are facing forward, and you've straightened your arms alongside your body. Then you're going to bend your upper body and reach for your toes. And let's do those sound effects. All the way to your toes or toward your toes. Nothing saying that you have to make it all the way to your toes today, maybe tomorrow. And you can do, you can have your rain fall down several times. Just like our Mr. Sun song, right? Our next pose is our frog pose and how much I love seeing frogs in the springtime. So you start in Malasana or squat pose to be a frog and your knees are apart, your arms are between your knees and you can touch your hands to the ground, it helps with your balance. But you know what's really fun to add to this yoga pose is how about a couple jumps around the room? That'll warm you up and it will stretch your muscles and it will challenge your strength. And it's a lot of fun too. Next, you'll want to do tabletop pose. So just come off of your squat and onto all fours, hands and knees. Your fingers are, your palms are flat on the ground and you make sure that your back and your neck 
are in a straight, neutral position. So that means that you shouldn't be feeling any tension in your neck. My neck is in a neutral position right now. I haven't turned it to the side. It's not forward. It's not back. That's what I'm going for. That's what I'm asking you to go for. Your shoulders should be over your wrists. Your hips should be over your knees. And the tops of your feet are flat on the ground and you're pretending to be a spider walking along through the garden. And would you like to come forward and back on your yoga mat a little bit while you creep being a spider? Our next pose is child's pose or seed pose. So we're going to pretend to be one of those seeds that's waiting to sprout in the spring. You'll come to sitting back on your heels and you'll slowly bring your forehead down to the mat in front of your knees. You rest your arms down alongside your body and you take a few nice deep breaths, pretending to be a seed in the ground. Our final pose is our cobbler's pose or butterfly pose. You, you're going to be pretzel legs. Sit on your bum with a tall spine, then bend those legs and place the soles of your feet together. And how about if you make some antennae with your fingers like a butterfly and gently flap your legs open and close like a butterfly's wings. And that's our yoga flow for today. We'll finish our time together with the Aloha story time song. So you can get up and you can hula dance or you can just sing along with me. Aloha oi, aloha oi, story time is over, our dancing time is done. Aloha, oi, aloha, oi, until we meet again. Cha cha cha. Thank you for joining me for Yoga and Yodels today. We'll see you soon.